Oh man, we are so close to the full reveal of EA Sports Call of Football 25. Over here on King Sponge Tube, if you couldn't tell already, we're super hyped for the new game. And because our hype levels are off the charts, I've consolidated every piece of news related to the new game so you know everything before getting into the full reveal in May. Check this out. We went from this to this. And now, without further ado, I'm gonna give you EA College Football 25 news rapid fire. First confirmation I can make, yes, there is a game. I'm sorry if there's anyone out there that still thinks it's not coming. Road to Glory, Ultimate Team, Dynasty Mode, all coming to the game, and Dynasty is supposedly the flagship mode they're spending most of their time on. Unlike NCAA 14, due to the current landscape of college football, NIL is in the game, and you're gonna have to think about paying players from now on. And on the topic of NIL, EA Sports has struck the largest NIL deal in college history, giving $600 and a free copy of EA College Football 25 to every player that opted into the game. The Heisman Trophy is in the game, but every other NCAA award is not in the game. They could not reach a deal, and I'm just bummed that the Ray Guy Award, given to the best punter of the year, I can't get that. On the topic of opting in, opting out, over 90% of college football players have already opted in, but Arch Manning has opted out. I just feel bad for everyone out there that has an Arch first name or a Manning last name because I don't know how EA is going to do it, but they're confirming that opted out players will not be able to be added to the game. They can't restrict the general name, can they? Not only is the transfer portal in the game, it's confirmed that players will be able to transfer multiple times throughout the career. I guess we can continue with the bad news. Real coaches confirm not to be in the game. And yes, it's heartbreaking with all 134 FBS schools being confirmed. One of those FBS schools is no more. The Idaho Vandals from NCAA 14 are actually back at the FCS level, so they're not gonna be in the game. Since we just talked about the Vandals and FCS school, FCS schools in general will not be in the game. This is more than likely gonna come in next year's edition or a DLC. A bit of a double-edged sword on this next one. All bowl games will be in the game, yes, but that's only from a branding perspective. If the game is played at a neutral site where it's not a traditional college field or NFL stadium, it's not gonna be in the game. So the Fenway Bowl, for example, at Fenway Park, not in the game. College football simulation logic has been enhanced. A recent report stated that realism will be a focus the further you go into your dynasty. So don't expect military schools to become powerhouses. All right, mixing it up with a little bit of speculation. Newest word around the block is that the release date will be July 19th and the full reveal date will be May 16th. Love him or hate him, there's a good chance Deion Sanders is gonna be in the game. EA already has rights to Deion, but whether this is just gonna be an ultimate team thing or not is still to be determined. And whether you love or hate X-Factors and superstars, there's reasonable speculation that that also will be in the game. This speculation mainly derives from the posters that were put up across campus promoting, and on these posters, one poster in particular had a handful of names isolated from the rest. Coincidentally, they seem to be some of the best players on the roster. It's also a big deal in Madden, so it wouldn't surprise me to see it transfer. Exciting news with all 100 34 FBS teams in the game. Confirmed we will have all the uniforms and at least one alternate uniform. In conjunction, each school will have their unique school traditions with them. And Kirk Herbstreet, part of the commentary team, mentioned that there'll be a special shout out for all 134 FBS teams when you finally win that championship. If you love all things college football, consider soaking it up with your boy King Sponge. Hit that subscribe button because I got plenty of giveaways and gameplay on the way. I recently announced the winner to my EA College Football 25 giveaway on Instagram. So be sure to go follow me on Instagram as I'll be posting more giveaways there. Now I just added a handful of old cards, but let me go through them real quick. Next gen consoles only, check. Video game title, EA Sports College Football 25, check. There will be no old gen support. Sorry. EA Sports has exclusive rights to the game. Check. They have been working with each university to get all the assets. Check. And it kind of goes with the school tradition card I mentioned earlier, but each in-game atmosphere will be extremely unique to the school and the location you're playing. From the sights and sounds to the fans in the stands. It is confirmed the college football playoffs will be in the game and at launch we'll have the 12 team expanded playoff format. But there's also a report we'll be able to customize the playoff field. Now, if it's truly to our heart's extent, is to be determined. But there is talk already of the playoffs expanding to 14 teams in 2026. So EA is already comfortable giving us that customization. Let's jump back on the topic of commentary just for a second. Chris Fowler, Kirk Herbstreit have already gone to lengths to talk about the involvement they've had in the game, recording thousands and thousands of lines. Bunch of stuff you'd never see in a real game. I've described. You want to punt on second down? Uh, try a 71-yard field goal, that's in the game too, along with the appropriate analysis of those decisions. Your quarterback throws five picks in the first quarter or five touchdowns, we got you covered there too in detail. People have asked, when my team scores a touchdown, will there be appropriate excitement like a real game? Hell yes. EA insists on realism. I sat here in an hour and said, touchdown, Alabama, all the way down to touchdown, Wyoming.
along with the version with the team nicknames. Very specific scenarios and really exciting stuff to hear. With that being said, Kevin Connors has confirmed he'll be the in-game reporter, sideline analyst. Kirk was on the Pat McAfee show and he said it was a really unique situation this time because there'll be multiple broadcast booths on the game. You know, there's a, a variety of voices. In the past, there's always just the, the same two or three people call every game. Now I think there's going to be different, uh, different broadcast booths for different types of games that, that you play in. So that, that'll be kind of a different wrinkle. And so I think that goes without saying there'll be multiple options for in-game commentary and ESPN College Game Day is in the game. Speculated news, it sounded like EA Sports was going to keep licensing open throughout the season. So if a backup quarterback or someone pops off, they'll be able to add them right into the game. These next two are definitely speculated, but it's supposedly this game is going to have a unique feel, completely different than that of Madden. And there's a whole different dev team on it. Exciting news, but still speculated. The game's already finished, undergoing some final tweaks, but there's been some internal play sessions within EA already, meaning someone's already got to see and feel the new game. Here's a fun one I put right in the middle of confirmed and speculated. The Reese's Senior Bowl Twitter account said that they're in the game. I know some other Twitter accounts were trolling, so that's not enough for me to go straight to confirmed. Some rapid fire speculated news. I would imagine crossplay is there, but not confirmed. Closed beta, speculated, but not likely. Mods, roster control, editing, speculated, but not likely to some extents, and definitely likely in other extents. But on the editing side of the house, that does bring me to my next three pieces of confirmed news. There'll be heavy user customization present. Down to the details, including to the point where you can give players hoodies. This isn't even available in Madden. And there was a variety of equipment brands confirming they're also in the game. The reason I say heavy user customization instead of just user customization is that their report saying it'll be more customizable than what Madden has to offer today. And I think the amount of user customization that Matt Brown's reported on, it also spells good things for team builder, although that's not confirmed yet. This little quadrant over here, the next four confirmed news I have all goes really hand in hand. In-game renders, leaked stadium renders, a teaser trailer, and a new scanning system all confirmed. We pretty much got to see a sneak peek of that in the teaser trailer if you haven't seen it already. Rounding out the confirmed section, these are the last four pieces to know. EA is using the same engine that Madden is built on, but that doesn't mean it's going to be a one-to-one -one replica. Probably should have mentioned this when I was talking about all 134 FPS teams, but it goes without saying here, and it's also been stated, that there will be 134 unique ways to play with 134 playbooks, true to each school's play style. Mid-season updates to the roster and content, of course, for Ultimate Team confirmed. NFL stadiums will be in the game. If your school or a bowl game is played in an NFL stadium, you can bet it'll be there. Microtransactions will be in the game. However, it's speculated it'll be kept at a minimum. Still a wish list item of mine, and it hasn't been confirmed by any means, but the ability to export draft classes to Madden. This feature was literally in NCAA 14, so why it wouldn't be in the new game? beats me. Online Dynasty, this is a big one. It should be there, but now any details or to the extent of how many people you can invite, all of that, nothing's confirmed. And last, let's end on a fun one, Cover Athlete. This will be revealed in the full drop in May, but I speculate it won't be Shooter Sanders. It'll be Avery Johnson of the K-State Wildcats. Eat them up.